God Seeker Aniri. Many of you have her now. Let's see where I'm using her. I'm going to break it down and we're going to pull some shards or do it all in one video just for you guys. So we have an event in the game going on right now for a guaranteed Godseeker Aniri, and she is an incredible champion. She provides A1 heals. She won't heal herself, though. She provides an AoE heal. Decrease the duration of all buffs. Increases the duration of all buffs on your allies. She has a revive as well with a turn meter, turn meter fill. And her passive... Increases the amount of healing all allies receive by 10%, which is incredible when you pair her with another healer. Also, if an ally is about to get killed, she has a revive on death on them. So that is on a three, no, a four turn cooldown once she's fully booked. Uh, her base defense is not bad at all. Her base HP is a little bit low, and she does have a nice base resistance if you want to go that route. If you want this to decrease the duration of all buffs on the enemy, you do need accuracy. That's the only thing in her kit that you need accuracy for. Okay, so the real point of this video is because uh, last night on stream, I ended up using her in my Hydra team, and I thought that it was a pretty easy team for Hydra Normal that many people would have. I wanted to share that with you guys, so we'll get into that in a minute. For now, um, I did want to start out the video by, I, I just ended up pulling some Void Shards here and there. And so, I figured, I already have Godseeker Aniri, but because she was so good in Hydra, I wouldn't mind having a second one in case I want to build it, or maybe if I want one for Arena. I just, I thought it would be a good idea to have a second copy of her. In addition to that... I love my faction guardians um, to actually have champions that I'm using, right? So like Deacon, I have a second Deacon. Shamale, I actually built a second Shamale. Mordecai, I have a second Mordecai. Juliana, I don't need a second copy of you. Um, Phoenix, don't need a second copy of you. So what I could do is put Godseeker in here and then use this as a chicken, the Juliana. So... Uh, a lot of reasons for me to pull this. Also, in addition to all of that, man, this guy is, is a beast. Super cool looking champion. I love the way he looks. I really actually think that this should be Draco's skin. They should just change Draco to this, please. Um, but anyway, so, you know, why not give a shot here for that? And then also, I will be able to get my dupe Godseeker. Um... Do I want to unlock slots? No, I do not. Uh, clearly, I was not prepared. So let me throw some champions in my vault who I don't really need out right now. You, you, you. You. Mm, probably you, Guardian, even though I love you to death. And we'll just put... Some unused legendaries in there as well. I guess I have a bunch of spots. Uh, I opened up a couple extra spots in my vault. Um, and so I should probably just take advantage of that. So anyway, I love the vault. I prefer my vault to be full and my champion inventory to have more space. That way it lets me rank up food champions. It lets me pull shards. It's just way better in my opinion to have a more a bigger vault so if i need more storage i'll increase the vault first but anyway here's my 10 pull let's see what we'll get probably nothing and then a god seeker aniri okay started out with a eurogrim i think i have two eurogrims already although that might be the second one and then will we get anything there no and then the god seeker is there okay well that's all right and that was the entire purpose was to get that dupe god seeker 
because she's that good. And then I'm going to save the rest of those for 2x voids next weekend. So, the next thing you're going to see is my run on Hydra normal. Um, let me go over the team with you right now before I show you the run. Okay, we're on Hydra normal. My, my clan has already taken that down. I do not have the most damage. Not even close. We got Atticus up here, my dude, killing it. Um, Beercules, Duchessless. <laughs> I don't even know who changed their name to that. Um, but let's take a look. We ended up with 8.49 million, and here's the team, and then I will show you the run. I wanted to show you the gear on these champions as well. Uh, the Valkyrie can be basically any shield champion, okay? It does not have to be Valkyrie. That's just the only good shield champion I have. She happens to be amazing, okay? We have Ninja in there, uh, who's getting the turn meter boost from Shamail. We have Stagnite for decreased defense and decreased attack. We have Umbral, who I recently ranked up. She has the block buffs. Uh, Valkyrie, counterattack, shields, and Godseeker is providing the main heals for the team, which actually was pretty significant. Not all of these champions have masteries, so let me go ahead over that. Hopefully I can remember that whole team. The ninja build is here. I, I just put this chest on him the other day, didn't even rank it up. Uh, it was just like a placeholder, but it worked. Uh, okay, so he's got some decent damage on him, enough accuracy, a little bit of HP. I'm still looking for a better chest to put on him, but as of right now, that's all I got. Uh, I, I took his chest and put it on someone else, I just don't remember who. Okay, the only other legendary was Valkyrie, and she honestly needs some better gear, if I'm being really honest with you. She has almost 4,000 attack, 254 speed, 321 accuracy, not that much HP. If we come down here to the Lady of the Hour, the Godseeker build, I did try to put in pretty decent de gear, but you can see she still doesn't have Masteries. I decided after the run, I should farm some Masteries on her. Uh, she does have books, though, which is surprising. I must have done that for CVC when I didn't have anybody to book. Because I have, like, a whole list of champions who I need to book right now. Um, who's even on my list right now to book? Duck the Pierced, Dur the Hungerer, Shamail number two, and Umbral is at the top of the list because she didn't have books either. So her total stats, 56k HP, 2400 defense, basically 200 speed, and enough accuracy as well. I didn't really build her for damage, I built her for survivability, okay? Uh, nice swift parry gloves there. Probably end up stealing those at some point. But you can see I have two matching sets and then a broken set. All of the other stuff is rare gear that's level 12, okay? Uh, we had Shamail number two in there. He is in Toxic, which I highly recommend. Love the Toxic build. And he's built pretty defensively. Dang, that's some HP. 70,000 HP? No wonder he never dies. We got some crazy HP percentage gear on him. Uh, he could he could even be ranked up higher. We don't we don't have the top row very good up here or or the jewelry. We just have those two plus this set here. So I mean that's pretty incredible. And then who else? Okay, so we had Ninja, we had Valkyrie, Godseeker, Shamail. We had the block buffs with. Where's she at? I literally cannot find her. Oh, right here. She's in front of my face. I ended up putting her in lifesteal just because I had these two pieces here that were really nice. I think I'd like to get her to 100% crit rate. Um, but she ended up with pretty good stats here. 4k defense, 40,000 health almost, and the accuracy. We're, we don't have masteries on her yet, but we do need to get masteries on her. And who was the last champion? Who am I forgetting? It's not Geo. 
Okay, I'm gonna have to go back over to the. Uh, I I tried to I tried to remember, memorize it, but it was it's such a brand new team. Uh oh, that's the wrong clan boss. But I'm at the top of the list on that one. Uh, normal MTG Jedi. Oh, Stagnite. Okay, Stagnite. So Stagnite. His gear over here. Um. Again, two bro two sets and two broken sets. He's fast enough to fit in any of my arena teams if I want. He's healthy, uh, accuracy, you know, it's the same kind of thing. And then the masteries on him, we have, wait, that way? No, that way. War Master over there. Um, then uh, I guess I should show the masteries on some other people as well. Most of them don't have masteries, right? Like, Umbral doesn't have masteries. Shamail number two has War Master now. Okay, yeah, or no, excuse me, Giant Slayer. Yeah, Giant Slayer. Um, if we scroll down here, you can see that Giant Slayer. Okay, highly recommend that. Otherwise, pretty typical build there. Like I said, Godseeker doesn't have any. The Valk has War Master, and then the same kind of healing and accuracy. And then Ninja, War Master, and the counter attacks, okay? So, uh, nothing super crazy there, but that's the gear. So, in case you're trying to replicate this strategy, you have that available to you, okay? The next thing that you're going to see is the... Uh, the run itself, which, to be honest, does not actually take that long. Let me see, like, how long is it? About 10 minutes on that run. So that'll make this video a little bit longer, but that's okay. So enjoy that run. That's on the Twitch stream, so you'll see the Twitch overlay, me interacting with chat and stuff. But you can watch that or skim through it, whatever you need. Uh, and then I'll be back after that. Oh, Ninja was my main damage there. Uh, okay, Royal Guard was not great there. Swap Valk. Well, Godseeker does not have Masteries, but I could. What if I just do, like, this? A defense-based team with Ninja and Shamwell. I mean, that could work. You think Umbral in the lead? sweet now he's got it again she needs to be fast enough to put her block buffs up that's true she does let's take it slow where you go i go to and if you hit the bottom i'm going now thanks so much for the follow Any reason no Kimmy? Yeah, she's not booked yet, that's why. But I have I have Umbral in here, but yeah, that's the reason why. You ask me how we got here, cause you don't know how you say we're taking on water, yeah, we're sinking now. I mean, the counterattack's definitely helping here. We're over a million on turn five, which is good. I don't think this team can survive as long as my other team.
How if we not strip this counter attack? There we go. Jeez. Yeah, Valk has some resistance, I think. Alright, there we go. Really enjoyed the Shadowkin Faction Wars vid this morning. Can't wait to see what you do with the final boss. Awesome, thanks so much. Just have, just have a heads up. Yeah, absolutely. That's my whole goal. Yo, Rainbow. Yeah, I've been on for a while. I've been on for a while. See, Godseeker, maybe I stole gear from her, because she is the one that's dying. She should be the most survivable one. Four hours later, yep, pretty much. Not Browless? Why don't you use Tatura? I actually did not like him here, believe it or not. Because he gets himself feared. Which is very unfortunate. Target stump? That's pretty true. Ah, he got the counter attack. All right, bye bye. Beerhead, yes. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Now we'll get all the counter attacks. Perfect. I can't seem to deal with the double speed boosts. Huh? Oh, oh, for arena, there's thirty-five. All right, we almost got it back. Perfect. Yeah, there we go. This is looking good. Looking good. 30 million preferred, yes. I Technically, I can do it with less, but I do my best work with 30 million. Godseeker OP? I guess. You really think that's what it is? Why? Her heals on her A1 are amazing. Interesting. Who should I six star next? Norma Fane Painkeeper? Um. That's a good question. You're using Narma in your clan boss team, but I think you're also using Fane. Probably Fane. All right. Oh, we didn't get the block buffs in time. That's baloney. I would say, yeah, I think Fane as well. Her resistance is great, or her revive? Alright, this head's almost dead, this head's almost dead, perfect. Revive? Okay. Bye-bye.
Can you not use Rector? Yeah, I probably should have used Rector, yeah. But this is working very well, so I don't know. Her A2 does... Does her A2 decrease Poison Cloud duration? Does it? I don't think so. I don't know. Interesting. That's a good question. No. Okay, we redirected. That's fine. Oof, now they all have it. Okay, we're going to hit over here. It works on stone skin. Wow. All right, he should strip that counter attack on one of these attacks. There we go, good. This is looking this is looking solid. I think Boomer found that out during reset one day with Arbiter. Interesting. You saw it in one of his videos. Cool. Oh, that was a load of crap. I should have waited on that block buffs. Definitely should have waited. Bye-bye, head. Okay. This head's going bye-bye as well. Then all we'll have is the toxic head to deal with. Perfect. Uh, do we even want to attack it? Is there a max turn on Hydra? I don't know. I'm gonna just keep attacking the stump, I think. Uh, 1,500 turns? Now we're going to get some counters. Oh, we did get the one key. Let's go. All right, let's hit auto from here. Let's hit auto from here. We got the one key. One key completed. I actually, believe it or not, I was having a hard time finding a one key team. So this is actually good. I'm on to something for a hard team. Managed to almost kill... All four heads at the same time. What's that, 420? That sounds intriguing. Just a bit of gear tweaking and it should be solid. See, I think that if I could just get the same four heads over and over again, I'd be able to one key hard. But I can't, obviously, because that's not how it works. So I, I think that if I could, then it would be fine. Uh, this run's about to end. <laughs> this is why you manual. This run's about to end. <laughs> Alright, well that stump of a head has got all of the debuffs, chat. Eo, Brogni, oh. Uh, yeah, if you have Brogni, then yes. But the rest of the team is interesting with Tumisia, Lydia, Cardiol, and Umbral. 
I like the team, that's cool. Cardinal is great here. Cardio, yeah, yeah. 45 turns, 11 million, four left standing. That's cool. I think Hydra's kind of stupid because early and mid game players can't do anything. I agree. Totally agree. I think Hydra should be accessible to all players and it should be challenging for end game players. They can do both. They can still do both. And I don't know why they don't. Alright, so we're rounding about 8 million here. Uh oh, now we're in trouble. Ninja was the last one alive. Interesting. I'll take it, chat. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that run. I hope you enjoyed that team. Uh, again, to finish up, uh, we were able to one-key normal, actually for the first time since... I don't even know what I'm doing here. We were able to one key normal for the first time since the uh, since the nerf to Shamail. And I just couldn't figure out a team to do it, and Godseeker was the missing piece. So if you got her, I would definitely consider using her in your Hydra team. Even if you don't end up using her with this exact team, I think she could be helpful in your team. There's a lot of strategies available to you for one keying normal or for doing damage on normal. So I think that everybody should hopefully be able to try to get this max chest on normal. As for the other difficulties, they're not really accessible at this time. If you are doing the other difficulties, good luck to you. Post your Hydra teams below. Let's continue to find more and more strategy, excuse me, more and more strategies. And until the next video, I hope you have a great day.